ni sehemu ambazo zinafanya mzunguko kwa kasi sana mtandaoni zile sehemu za babake jenerali mkuu wa majeshi Francis Ogola kupuuziliwa hata asitajwe popote katika mazishi ya kijana wake karibu ndani ya mishemishe makao makuu ya matukio mitandaoni katika fani ya burudani habari zinazovuma na za sasa kumekuwa na posts hapa na pale katika ukumbi wa Facebook kufuatia swala hilo la kumpuzilia mbali mzee Oyeyo ambaye ni babake mjenerali Ogola ambaye aliaga dunia katika ajali ya ndege. Inasemekana kwamba hakutajwa popote pale, hakushughulika kutajwa, hakutambuliwa kivyovyote vile. Nikizama ndani ya semi hizo moja kwa moja, mzee Oyeyo the late generals Ogola father celebrated his 100th birthday on Saturday a day before the general was brought home and buried. Now mzee wasn't recognized by anyone at the burial ceremony of his son. On this I want to spare the political class because could be that they or some of them did, did not know him or his presence. But couldn't the family members recognize mzee? Why did Ogola's elder brother not recognize their father? All he did was ask the president to try and maintain the widow's class in the society. Why did Ogola's sister not mention the presence of her father? All she did was tell us how Ogola told her that if he dies, let her wife be taken for a vacation. But most importantly, your favorite man Joel Ogola's son too did not mention the presence of his grandfather. I understand him and forgive that he was acting on his mother's Nyarmeru instructions. Now, why would Ogola's wife shut any mention of his father-in-law? Why would they distance themselves from there at a time when families always come together? My reason, stroke opinion is so simple. Mzee Oyeyo must have rejected a marriage to General Ogola. He must have insisted that his son must not marry Ameru, and when the son defied his father's orders and stood by the love of his life, Aileen lived hating on Mzee henceforth. That can be the only reason as to why the family that spoke before the politicians ignored Mzee life as a plague. Ogola's wife must have been instructed so. Kuna mwingine ambaye alipakia kwamba mzee yeye was present but nobody seemed to care. They treated him same way they treated the flowers and other decorations around the venue which is quite unfortunate. Nobody bothered nor cared that this was a father that had just lost a son, General Ogola, who happened to be his main helper in his old age. He was totally ignored throughout the proceedings. A lesson to men who are investing in their children. The father who gave birth to Ogola totally ignored throughout the state funeral proceedings. Mzee Oyeyo, the father to the departed General Ogola was packed into a quiet corner like a statue as dignitaries eulogized his great son. No one totally, no one made mention of him, yet he was the source of the seed that became General Ogola. At least Mrs. Ogola had everyone including President Ruto all over her, squeezing her hand, giving her hug, reassuring her. The army said they will take care of her and, and take her on holiday, but the father nobody cared. The Ogola children were busy building their CVs, talking of how their dad was an angel inviting their high-end friends and like Shalene Ruto to speak, but none of them made a mention of them Ze Oyeyo. The speakers including the president made a mention of Mze Oyeyo. It was the wife, the children, the Rutos, the Gashagwas and, and Mudavadis of this world being prioritized and honored. But Mze Oyeyo was in all others present treated like the flowers and other decorations around the venue. By the graveside he sat alone at the farthest end, nobody even thought of him when it came to the time of going to pour soil in the grave. Mze Angeharibu Isabu. It's a lesson to we men, Kenyan fathers who do so much to give our children the best. When finally we retire, we are old, we are widowed. The world has no space for old, especially Kenyan old men more so widowers. Let Ogola's widow get the limelight. I am told she is going for holiday for burying her hubby. Mze Oyeyo will take care of the grave as he, as he awaits to die lonely, unrecognized, broke and sickly. Who else noticed that CDF Francis Ogola's 100-year-old father was ignored during his burial? Noticed the blue old suit at least he deserved an, a new one. No seat was reserved for him and on this video he looks confused on where to sit and with no family member guiding him something is wrong somewhere. 
Mzee Joel Oye, the father of the late General Francis Ogola, was ignored in entirety during the burial of his son. He was not mentioned anywhere. He was not recognized by his grandson. The boy forgotten the seed that brought him in this world and chose to praise the Bedayo. Mzee Oye, your general's dad, brother and representative, why was a father who lost a son ignored and the focus given to Ruto? Many of us are confused. Was our son's burial, General Ogola, given a military burial for a Kenya Kwanzaa ceremony to stop the investigation on this suspicious death? This article resonates with most Kenyans who watched the burial. While following the burial, I watched, the, I watched an old man in a blue suit and a hat, mostly alone, crisscrossing the military crowds as they did their thing. He sat on the far end of the VIP tent with no one near him. During the entire service, no one noted his presence, including the eulogy and the close family members, who rose to address the mourners. When pouring the soil into the grave, he was nowhere on the mention list. Came also the time of laying the reds. The wife and the children were called. Then the president, VP, PM, military heads, a representative of the more prominent family, and the rest of the protocol. Anyone who watched it would ask who the mysterious older man in blue was. He entered the homestead which housed the final resting place and escorted heavily like the rest, chattered his way effortlessly through the soldiers and security and sat in the far left of the tent. He was there alone all the time, a morning removing his heart every time the preachers uttered a prayer, sometimes facing down and seemingly in deep thought while tucked in that white seat. It turned out that the old man is Mzeoyeyo, Mr. Joel Okech's brother, representing the late general's old man. This post ni lizosoma zote zimepakiwa na wanaume. Na kikweli jambo hilo limewauma na linauma. Hata mimi limeniuma. Upo huru kushiriki maoni kwenye comment section tafadhali usisahau kusubscribe na bonyeza kengele ya notification ili upate kujuzwa kila mara nikipakia video mpya kwa heri